Hey there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my June challenge layout for Hey Little Magpie. For this layout I'm going to be using Simple Stories, The Simple Life and Hey Little Magpie actually sell it as a taste of kit. So it's not all of the range but it's enough to give you a taste and that's exactly what I've got. And I've already used some of it before but I'm going to go ahead and have a look through what I've already got left and I'm going to use that for this challenge layout. So the challenge for June 23 is to use banners. Uh, I decided to pick something nice and easy so that lots of people get to take part because it, this there is a little prize for this as well. So uh, I like lots and lots of people to take part if they can. So uh, I haven't done a banner layout for a while and I'm just having a look through taking all these tags apart because I think I might use a few of those in the banners that I'm going to make. But I'm not sure but I will definitely use them as tags anyway. So I'm just marking the centre of that piece of paper and I'm just cutting the banners by hand. I'm going to rough them up later on anyway, so it doesn't really need to be exact. They're also not hugely accentuated banners, but they're enough for you to see. I'm going to try and keep the angle of the triangles similar in the banners that I use. So the aim of the layout, I'm going to try and do uh, two, well in fact three embellishment clusters really, but two of them uh, with banners and one for the title. I really like that sticker at the bottom uh, which says together and that's going to be the title I think as I move forward. So the background paper I've chosen is called Sit A While. I've, I think I've only got three or four full sheets so I wanted to use one of them and I think the wood grain is uh, a perfect backdrop um, for an outdoorsy layout. I wasn't totally sure by this range initially but that's why I bought the Taste of Kit but actually it's really lovely soothing tones of greens and blues with a lot of black and white and I really have enjoyed working with it. This is the second layout that I've made using this uh, Taste of Kit so far. So I'm just looking, I want to add a third banner underneath the photograph, I haven't quite figured out what I want at this stage and I do use this uh, checkered paper in the end which is called Our Story and um, I'm just not sure how long I want the banner to be. I find that uh, I spend more time probably on the process than a lot of people mainly because I enjoy that part of scrapbooking so I don't mind. That's why you'll always find that my videos are speeded up because it's, I can't make something in half an hour that's just not the way it is uh, but if I can make it in two or three hours that's great and I don't want you to sit through that goodness me that would be that would be painful. So I'm just having a look now. They've got these lovely black and white flower uh, like illustrations in this range. So I'm definitely going to use one there on the left of the photograph and I've definitely got one underneath the title at the bottom. I think uh, they go with the outdoor photo so I think they're going to work really well. I'm having a good look at what I've got left, see if there's any stickers that or um, die cuts that would work and I'm going to cut them out with the background on so I can see if I can um, pop them on anywhere and then I tend to try and clear the space a little bit because I get a bit overwhelmed and once I move everything that I don't need I feel that I can focus a little bit more on getting the layout done. So I'm just uh, seeing what I can tuck in around that and I decide that the black checker is the perfect. So I'm just going to make sure that that cluster is okay. I'm just looking at the bits and pieces. There's a few bees and butterflies and I may want to incorporate some of those nearer the end. So I put all the bits in a tray that I've got so I can keep picking out and having a look what to use. So um, if you want to enter this challenge, let me give you a few details. So you need to make a new layout with banners on uh, and we've got to be able to see the banners um, to be able to enter. And then if you upload the photograph to our Facebook group, there's an album specifically for the June 23 challenge. So you have to put your layout in the correct album. And at the end of the month, um, one will be picked uh, from a random generator to be the winner. And that winner will get 10,000 Hey Little Magpie points, which equates to £10 to spend on stash in the shop. So that's a fabulous prize, isn't it? So as there's new ranges going into the shop all the time. So, uh, yeah, as, as they say, you've got to be in it to win it. So I would recommend you give it a go and check us out on Facebook. So as you can see, my hands are still busy. I'm now looking at embellishing the clusters. Uh, I've brought in a Hey Little Magpie um, flare there on the left, uh, made to design, uh, sorry, designed to complement this 
range and I'm just adding a few bits and pieces on the right cluster. Still not quite got that one together. I like that black actually, I think uh, that pulls the black in. So uh, I think that's going to stay. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add some twine across the top. It's waxed thread. You'll find that also in the Hey Little Magpie store. And I'm going to add a bit of that later on. So I'm just going to stick these clusters together, but not stick them to the background. So I'm just uh, lifting them up a little bit and adding some 3D foam pads just to give them a bit of a lift. And what I hadn't realised that I didn't share with you earlier is that I did sew round the banners with just white machine thread. Um, took a little bit of time, particularly on the points, but actually um, I quite like it, particularly on the darker ones. So when I distress the edges of them, it um, I think it shows up quite a bit. Now, I didn't like the fact the title was white and the flowers were white on the white background. So I brought in these Tim Holtz like distress, like watermark stamps and a couple of distress oxides. And I'm just going to add some splodges of ink behind the banners and behind the title. It's most important behind the title and much quite a bit of it behind the banners isn't going to actually show. As you can see, I'm not using a acrylic block or anything like that because I don't want uh, anything to be perfect. And if I've done it a little bit thick, I've added a, a brush just to um, calm it down a little bit. But as I say, it's very hit and miss just to add a little bit. And it, that's like a sagey green and a, a grey. Just to uh, be tonal with the rest of the layout, but just to add a little bit of depth as well. So when I do add those banners finally to the base, it will um, hopefully make them stand out a little more. Apologies for flipping the layout. It's either that or you get to see my part in. So uh, that's uh, my choice. So it, I know it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but I'm, I'm thinking by the time it's all stuck down, you will barely notice that. So rather than add some foam to, pads to the back, I bring in some um, children's foam and I, uh, you know, craft foam is what I mean. I've uh, come from a um, children's craft area in a store and I've just, so instead of using lots of foam pads, it helps to lift up a bigger item. So I've just stuck that on and that really gives a bit of a lift there. And I'm just going to finish embellishing that um, cluster. So I hope you uh, have been inspired to make a layout using banners or also to check out this range because it's um, really worth looking at. So I was surprised. I think maybe the pictures don't do it justice and I think it's perfect for any outs outside um Photographs. I think I've even done a wedding. Uh, if you look at other videos that I've made, I think I've done a wedding photo with this range as well. And it's also suit black and white photos perfectly as well. So, uh, yeah, do check it out in the Hey Little Magpie store. So I have put the title uh, through the sewing machine as well. But it obviously, because it's a sticker, it had its background on. So I've had to remove that afterwards. And I've just added a few foam pads and I'm just going to trim the strings left from the sewing machine either side as I stick that down. I'm going to make sure I've added a butterfly there. I'm going to try and add three, I think. They always say that odd numbers are the best. Uh, I didn't know whether to add to the title there with a sticker, but I think there's enough going on in that cluster at the bottom. So it's literally just titivating now. A couple of stickers. Because I've cut them off with the background attached, it doesn't really matter that, that if they don't get used, but sometimes I just like to play around, see if I can tuck any last bits in. So um, I've put a knot in the twine and I've stuck it down under the Simple Life banner in the centre. So I know it's secure there and I've let it fall to either side and I'm going to off camera staple that down and trim it. So that's the finished layout. Do check out the challenge. Have a go. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you um, are interested in seeing more videos, um, subscribe to the channel. So I hope to see you here again real soon. Bye for now.